So, two objects, a flower, a flower is notated by A, and an orange, uh, it is notated by B, are within a rectangular compound wall, whose parts P and Q are meeting at 90 degrees. Flower A is 1 meter and 5.5 meter from the walls P and Q respectively. Orange B is 4 meter and 1.5 meter from the walls P and Q respectively. Drawing projections, find a distance between them. If flower is 1.5 meter and orange is 3.5 meter above the ground, consider suitable scale. So this is the question. In this case, actually two objects are given, a, a flower as well as an orange are given, and they are within a rectangular compound wall or uh, towards the corner of a wall, uh, not, not just a wall, uh, corner of a uh, rectangular compound wall. And it has two parts, P and Q, which are meeting at 90 degrees, that is towards the corner. Then flower A is one meter from the wall P and 5.5 meter from the wall Q. So that is given. Then orange B is 4 meter from the wall P and 1.5 meter from the wall Q. Now, the flower is 1.5 meter above the ground level and the orange is 3.5 meter above the ground level. Now, what we have to do is we have to draw the projection, find the distance between them. The distance between them means the true in distance between them, not just the distance, uh, distance in the projection, but the true distance between them. So the, what we have to do is we have to find out the true, uh, true length of the line joining the flower and the orange. Let's see how visually it will appear like this. It will be like this. So this is the uh, wall P and this is the wall Q. Two walls are there. And uh, a flower A is here and flower uh, an orange B is here. So the distances of uh, uh, A from P, Q and from the ground are given. So in order to locate A in the front view as well as top view, the required dimensions are given. And the, in order to locate uh, point B from the uh, point uh, from the wall P, from the Q, wall Q uh, as well as the ground, they, they are also given. Now how to convert this one into uh, the, uh, an engineering graphics program, that is the important part. But how to convert it, let me show you. So this is the drawing. Based on this drawing, first we draw an XY line. An XY line is uh, a line which is suppressed the front view and the top view. In this case, th this has uh, no meaning at all. Uh, or we, we can consider the XY line to be the ground. We can consider the XY line as the ground line itself. So it is the ground. Now, this is the wall Q. We are, we are looking uh, in the front view, like in this direction we are looking. In this direction we are looking. So since we are looking in this direction, in the top view, we are uh, going from to find out the top view first. The top view will be a wall Q. You don't have to draw it in a thick line. This is uh, to represent it to be uh, the wall. That is why I have drawn it as a thick line. You don't have to draw it a thick line. You can just draw any line, any uh, uh, a line of any thickness, no problem. Uh, that is a straight line that is to represent the wall Q. Since we are not considering the thickness of the wall, the, the thickness of the wall is not important in this case. We, can, we don't know how to consider the thickness of the wall. So wall Q is here. So since wall Q is like this, uh, the wall P should be like this, uh, like this here, see. So the wall P is here and the wall Q is here. These two walls are at a 90 degree since it is said that the walls meet at 90 degree, we have to draw it like this. Now, from the wall one, from, from the wall P, the flower is at a distance of uh, one meter from the wall P and 5.5 meter from the wall Q. So that point first we have to mark. From the point, uh, from the wall uh, P, we draw a distance or uh, draw a line which is parallel to the wall P and at a distance of one meter from the wall P. And from that, uh, from the wall Q, we mark a distance of 5.5 meter and uh, like we obtain the point A. The point A is the top view of the flower A. So the top view is of flower A is obtained. Then 
uh, from the wall queue uh, a distance of 1.5 meter is drawn this is to mark the point b that is the orange and a distance of 4.4 meters from wall uh, b is taken so here you obtain the point b now you join a and b so this is the top view of the straight line joining a and b now what you have to do is you have to draw the front view also in order to draw the front view we consider xy line to be the ground and from the ground uh, the point a is a is some 1.5 meters above the ground so 1.5 meters above the ground we mark the point a dash and uh, the uh, orange is some 3.5 meters above the ground so 3.5 meters above the xy line we mark the point b dash now we join a dash with the b dash so this gives you the front view of the arrangement or the front view of the straight line AB joining the flower with the uh, orange. Now what we have to do is we have to find out the true length. The, in order to find out the true length, you know, you have to rotate one of the views. In this case, either uh, the front view or the top view can be rotated. No problem, whichever is rotated because uh, we doesn't have to find out the inclinations. So again, in this case, we are rotating the top view. We rotate the top view AB such that uh, the point uh, B1 is obtained. Now B1 dash is obtained. Join point A dash uh, uh, with the B1 dash. And the length of the line A dash B1 dash will give you the true length, which is the answer. This is the true length and which is that is the answer. So this is it. Seemingly this type of questions, uh, seemingly it, uh, it appears to be very very difficult but actually they are not that difficult they are simple the only thing is you have to think how to make or how to convert that one into an engineering graphics problem so let me explain uh, demonstrate it once more the question is two objects a flower a and a flower and orange B are within a rectangular compound wall whose parts P and Q are meeting at 90 degree. Flower A is 1 meter and 5.5 meter from the walls P and Q respectively. Orange B is 4 meter and 1.5 meter from the walls P and Q respectively. Drawing projections, find the distance between them. If flower is 1.5 meter and orange is 3.5 meter above the ground, consider a suitable scale. In this case, the scale can be 1 is 200 itself, since the maximum distance that is 5.5 meter. That is, uh, if we consider a 1 is 200 scale, it is 5.5 centimeter only. So first we draw the wall cube. First we determine in which way we are looking. That is, uh, in which way we will be obtaining the front view, in which way we will be obtaining the top view, etc. Uh, in one way we can look at it like this or in another way we can look at it like this also that is in this direction also it is possible to get a front view but we selected the front view in this direction so this is uh, looking in this direction also it is possible the only thing is the distances are to be uh, calculated accordingly so wall q then wall p then uh, point A, depending on the distances of uh, the point A from wall P and wall Q, then point B. In this case, uh, in this particular case, we are starting with the top view. We obtain the top view first and then we go for the front view. So then in the front view, A dash and B dash. Then join A dash and B dash. And in the top view, you rotate it in order to get the point B1 and project it to get point B1 dash. And join A dash with B1 dash. And this and the length of this particular line will give you the true length, which is the required answer. <laughs>